All right, guys, long story short. So you see this Alienware here? Yeah, I'm doing the impossible. So I'm gonna grab this baby and I'm going to tear it from the inside out. Yes, and I'm gonna put it in a really nice case, like this one. So in today's video, we're gonna do the NZXT build with an Alienware R2 X51. All right, let me tell you a little story about this. You see this corner here? Yeah, pretty. Well, I got this from Amazon and I'm building this for a friend. But guess what? It came damaged. But luckily, my friend says, you know what? It's pretty like this. He didn't really say that, but he said, it's acceptable. I want it. I was like, okay, well, you're going to have it like that. So I'm going to build it and make it look pretty, even with those bumps and bruises. Let's see how it turned out. Here's the motherboard. This is the Alienware X51 R2 motherboard, but with a little twist. Look at what I got here. Yeah. Ain't that pretty? And it doesn't look right, but guess what? I'm making it happen. The impossible. So I'm not sure if most of you know, but an Alienware motherboard does not come with an I.O. shield. That is because the Alienware has the I.O. built in the case. But look at this. Yep, the impossible. I got an I.O. shield. How did I do that? China. Thank you, China. I got a lot of question on my previous video of the NZXT. So yes, it does come with a front panel adapter. So if you're having trouble, there you go, you know? Also comes with this in the box and these screws and zip ties. So that's all you need to literally build or start your build.
I just wanted to stop the video real quick just to mention again, this is the front panel. So for this motherboard, it fit perfectly. I didn't have to use the adapter, but again, if your motherboard is different, here is the adapter. All you have to do is plug this end on that end, and then you'll have, you know, the free plugs to connect wherever it is that your motherboard has it. However the format it is, you'll be able to do it. Another thing I wanted to mention was a lot of people were discussing on the other video I had about a reset switch. This computer does not, I mean this case, does not come with a reset switch. It's just a power button. This is why you don't see a reset switch here.